Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Today, we're heading back into the Shady Shoals rest home here at Bikini Bottom because we are going to go into the lair for uh, Barnacle Boy and oh, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I always get it mixed up. The king of non contact sports. All right, so as you can see, we got this over here, Mermaid Man. Enter the Mermalair. Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> cool. <laughs> he just stretches in there. Okay, so yeah, we'll be checking out the Mermalair today. I don't know how big of a level this is. Hopefully, it's a pretty good one. Um, but it seems cool. I remember the Mermalair from some of the episodes, especially with the, the one. There's a one villain I forget the name of. You had like a blue and red color scheme. Either way, we can see now. Yeah, there's a whole set of things to do here. So we should be good for exploring this in today's episode. Uh, oh, no, they are over there. So let's figure things out. This is such a cool level idea. I you would not have thought of this myself. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know if we can. Oh, no. Oh, why is that not working? <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Oh, here they are. Hi, guys. <laughs> Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Aww. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... <laughs> All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. Oh no. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermalair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not to the doctor's office. Away! <laughs> Well, I hope they have fun of the doctors. Do I have anything else Go to say? Go see the computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. All right, got it. He doesn't say anything. I could talk to him, but he just doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we got some more of the, the hammer robots. Can't take it. It's not just any sponge. It's super sponge soaking up crime. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't step on the red squares of the disco floor. Gotcha. Fresh, okay, so like let's get to it. Breeze. Try to be careful. It, it makes some very not so disco noises out there. I don't know, a little weird. What's going on down this way? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I got some bowling stuff. Ready for this? Whoa. Can I hit it? Oh my gosh, that was way too far. That was not far enough. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, right over it. <laughs> I always like this ability, but it's a little tough. There we go. We got it. So that should be a lot more uh, sparklies for us. Thank you, up to 6,000. We need to get to 9,000 by the end of today's episode. I think we can do it, but still we gotta give it our best bet. Awesome. And then over this way, might wanna explode these guys first and then run off. There we go. What does this sign say? Uh, these poles are power generators. Don't touch them or the energy beam. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Checkpoint. Whoa, look at this guy. He's huge. What? Is that supposed to be like a, a replica SpongeBob? Oh my. Hey! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Poor SpongeBob. Did he throw a boomerang? What was that? I don't know. Oh my gosh. I don't like it. Uh, this robot is named Arf. <laughs> Use the bubble bowl to defeat him. I will try my best. And it's a good thing we got the bubble bowl first before going to this level. Oh gosh. Um, well, actually, I don't think we could have gotten to this level without the bubble ball. Yeah, I guess we got it for defeating Robo Sandy, didn't we? Okay, that just hurts. Anyways, he's flying away now. That's good, at the least. This is a little scary. I don't like this guy. Okay, over this way. Got it. Whoa, okay, watch it. So they don't even really... I mean, it's hard to throw the bubble ball at him. 
when he's up on a ledge like that. But these guys just sort of jump at you and explode in a way that's tough to manage. You don't really want to attack him. You don't really even need to use the bubble ball. You can just walk up and hit him. Hold on. Maybe that was <laughs> not worth it. So did we like actually destroy him? I guess so. Interesting. Let's do that. Nice. I like how the bubble ball is a one hit takedown. Is there anything up there? Not really, okay. Hmm, but what about that? Can I make that jump? I don't know if that's right, but also I don't see any other way to get over to it, so I guess we should try. Um, no. All right, oh, now I'm gonna have to go all the way back. Okay, so uh, what does this sign say? Oh, we can spin this thing, can we? Use the bubble to, to turn paddle wheels. Bowl on one side of this paddle to make a turn. So we know what to do now. Obviously, if we hit it like that, that would have moved it right over like that. But we can keep pushing it and get this underwear for sure. Can I bowl at it? Would that work? No. Okay. I feel like a new sponge. And I guess they're back over there. <laughs> I wonder if I could get rid of them like this. Oh. Oh. Nice. Like the smell of <laughs> in the I like it. Smells like. Victory. Okay. Over this way then. A little bit more. No, no. Oh, so you can only bowl the way you're facing. That sort of makes sense. And now that it's over here, we can figure this out. So, yep, there we go. Whoa! And that's all we needed. <laughs> that's for sure. So let's figure this out again. And then again, we just gotta knock it all the way back over because I don't think there's anything else around here. We have to worry about, I do see another golden underpants, so that should up uh, SpongeBob's total health. Why is this not working? There it goes. And then one more time. Okay, let's go. Hmm, so there's another checkpoint. I do see this little bowling spot right there. Did that work? I don't think so. There it goes, whoa! Whoa, we get a free boat? Oh yeah, this is the invisible boat. Isn't that a thing? in one of the episodes, maybe? I can't remember. <laughs> um, so what did that do? Ooh. Uh, the bubble bowl can also be used to press buttons, as we just found out. Very cool. So let's keep it moving. We got these guys to take down now. Hiya. Ow. <laughs> that didn't turn out so well. Oh, you know what? I saw the goldenness of the spatula. I thought it was the underwear. Never mind. It's actually just a golden spatula. All right, there we go. So 34 golden spatulas and our first one of this area. So let's keep it moving. So I don't think there's anything else we can get around here. Uh, enter to enter the Mermelair main chamber. All right, so, so far so good. A bit of a tough level, but I'm sure we'll figure it out and get a little bit better with the bowling bubble as we go along. But yeah, this is actually one of the coolest areas we've explored the so far. Mermelair, secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm back from their doctor's appointment. All right, well. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! <laughs> all right, well, I guess Squidward is here now. I'm a little confused by that, though. Apparently, Squidward... Knows a lot about computers, enough so for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy to tell him to do it? Does he work in like IT or something? I'm a little confused. Hey, maybe he does. Anyways, Hello, we're gonna bowl this over here. At some point we can get Patrick, oh yeah, with the bus, but how would we get him across? Weird, I'm not really sure. But for right now, yeah, we have a checkpoint right over here. That's, that's a little odd, I'm not really sure about that. But we could switch over to probably Patrick then, I'd have to assume. Yes, we can. And there's something over there, too. Lots of secrets. That's probably what Patrick gets launched over to. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to come back and figure that out. I think that keeping with SpongeBob for right now might be the best bet, and we'll just try to explore the level as much as we can, because there's a lot going on here. Uh, hello, Mermaid Man. You're my hero. Hey, you're yellow. When did that happen? He's always been yellow. <laughs> okay, so I guess we have to spend 2,300 shiny objects here. And it's another Patrick thing. So we'll figure that out in just a second then, seeing how 
That's relevant, I guess. So we gotta remember not step on the red ones. Wow, whoa, whoa, going back, going forward. Oh, I don't trust this. It's like it's weird. It's like a weird Simon says. Did that do anything? Oh, you know what it is. I know what it is. We have to get Patrick once again to go across. So I guess there's actually a lot of Patrick stuff to do here. Alrighty then. Why can we not go over his TV or anything? I guess not. So yeah, switch back to Patrick, and we can do a lot of this stuff as him. Oh yeah, it's back like that again. I'm a little worried that the job for somebody who can throw things. That's Patrick. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw the throw fruit. No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. <laughs> you might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. All right, well, we'll give it a try. Is the television fixed yet? All you have to do is throw one throw fruit into each of those funnel machines. All right, so we'll get the toughest one out of the way first. I'm a little worried the watermelon won't last, but I guess we'll find out. Oh boy. There we go. It's so weird. Come on, come on, come on. Throw it, throw it. There we go. So there's the first one done. Now it's toss us off the side, I guess. So now we just gotta do the other two. Honestly, they're gonna be way easier, I think. Can we just walk across this? Oh my, oh my. Oh, now I see the issue. I didn't realize we were gonna be all tilty. Ah, okay, we did it. Wow, that was scary. Okay, heading back now. Now this one has to be the easiest one, right? I don't know, looks can be deceiving now, can't they? Okay, that's just now disappearing. There we go. What's going on with this? Ah! 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 Okay, I went right through the watermelon. That's fine. So there we go, we activated all the buttons, right? Is he gonna be happy with that? Maybe? You did it! Now I can get some sleep. Cool. And that got us a golden spatula, oh, yay! Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So we already have 35. They're really starting to stack up, it's pretty cool. But we're not quite done with Patrick, we're gonna jump over this way real quick, and just sort of see what this does. Whoa, this launches me literally the opposite direction hey, I was expecting. I know you, you're that guy. <laughs> hmm, gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here, and he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up, there are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. <laughs> Just start turning those cylinders. So that seems easy. Just throwing them all over, but like what's the catch? What does this do? Bust, all towers out that resets them all, okay. Button. I'm guessing that maybe turning yourself. on one of them either yeah flip some of the ones around it Interesting so when you flip one it'll flip the two next to it adjacent to it That doesn't seem too bad. I might have already well We'll see if I do this Because mm. there's how many are there those one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight. Here, hold on. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. It gets a little confusing like that, doesn't it? Just trying to find the best way to do this is a little tricky. But I'll keep chipping away at it. Uh. Hmm. Because it's just these two. If we could find a way to flip those two. Uh, it just, it's possible, for sure it's possible, but it's just tricky. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Uh. It doesn't matter if I can just flip them like this, because if afterwards they're all facing the wrong way, I can just re-flip them back over, I think. But that's where it gets a little weird, maybe not. Okay, so I might have solved that. 
If I do that, now these three are facing, that's basically what I was trying to do, is just push over the three empty faced ones, or the ones that are facing the wrong way, just so that they're three in a row like that, and then finally, boom, got it. That didn't take too long to figure out. All right then, there we go. And with it, I guess I just have to talk to him. I don't want to reset it, that'd probably be a bad idea. Hey buddy, how you doing? Ah, uh, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Yeah. Here, have a golden spatula. <laughs> Ew, foot bath. Anyways, there's another oh, golden oh, spatula. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there we go. So, with that done, uh, let's press this button. One out of four. Okay, I'll be looking for those then, I guess. I don't know if that's the thing for Squidward or something. Uh -oh. Whoa, this one and we're back. Boom. Whoa, whoa, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to get that. Very cool. So we're back here now, but the question is, how can I get over there? Because I don't have the bowling ability as Patrick. So I just can't get over that way. Because there is something in the launch Patrick over there. I'm guessing it leads to that. That seems like the most sensical thing. Oh, and then there's another bowling thing right over this way. So you know what? Maybe now is a good time to switch back over to SpongeBob. Yeah. All right, well that was a lot of fun with Patrick. Okay. The sponge is back. And first thing we're gonna do is fall over that way. Bridge activated, ooh. It's sorta of going the opposite direction, but we can keep up with that. And then there's another uh, bus stop here. Oh, I thought that was closer than what it was. There we go. And you. Oh wow, it actually landed on him. So this is another spot where we can only explore as SpongeBob, because it has that wall jumping area. <laughs> Let's do that, turn that on. And what will that do for us? So it looks like actually, not too much I can accomplish here. Maybe these walls will go out. I think I have to put that checkpoint though. Did I just cheat it? Could I fall and die and then get back over there real quick? I guess so. Either way, now what we're trying to do right now, we'll come back. For right now, I would like to get this, that, all this, there we go. And we got more bubble bowl on. So, oh, okay, is that the wrong way? <laughs> Let's try this one. Right. Oh, okay, so it lowered a platform for us. I was like, I don't know exactly what that's gonna do. And I guess now, no, okay, it does it by itself. Don't fall off. Oh no, not this guy again. Ready, boom! How did that not get you? It get you, you that was weird. Met the sponginator. And then right over this way, left wall jump activated. That's exactly what I thought. So here's another checkpoint. Not what I wanted. I just want to throw a ball at you. <laughs> so he's trying to fly away. He doesn't fly very far. <laughs> I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. There you go. Awesome. So, so far, this level's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Okay. Going back up. Maybe. There it goes. Just takes a second. Oh my. Oh my. Trying to be ready for this guy. Got him. So there's a slide over that way, but more importantly for right now, boom, right wall jump activated. Okay, I think that means that we're good to tr try sliding around with this one. I love the slides in this in this game. This is like one of the most fun things. Brings me back to Mario 64 as well. Oh, that was a good one again. Ow, that was silly. <laughs> Not a good idea. Awesome. Whoa, and we just kept going. So with that done, I guess we should go back this way. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything, you know? As much as I can. I, I, at the least I try to get all the golden spatulas in the level. If I miss the socks, I don't think that's too big of a deal because most of the socks seem like you need to return with different abilities anyways. So I figured that towards the end of the series we'll come back to all the levels and get all the socks. Anyways, speaking of golden spatulas, we got one right here. Awesome. So there's that, we also get, oh, one of the boxes. So if In we order could. for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the buttons, got it. When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Ooh. Return here, got it. Are you listening to me? Listening, got it. <laughs> Okay, well, we already hit one of them. Here's another one, two out of four. Oh, got a little bit of extra health here, but we don't actually need it. So where does this, 
Box lead, this should be the very beginning. Yeah, so if we could find a way to switch to Patrick, that'd be very useful. Anyways, uh, what does this message say? Because honestly, I've explored as much as I can for right now. Uh, press the master shutdown button to lower the bridges to the villain containment system area. So I guess we'll have to continue throughout the murmur lair and see if we can't find anything more. Uh, yep, the murmur lair security tunnel. So hopefully there are more shutdown buttons this way. If not, I'm a little confused, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Gary, I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Meow. Oh, you took the elevator. <laughs> so how do I get to the top of this room? Meow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. All right, well, very interesting that Gary is here. I don't know, I don't think that the Mermelair is very well secure if everybody could just sort of mosey on in. Okay, let's get rid of this guy, first and foremost. And then, boom, just trying to get those guys by the time I land. And we'll sneak over this way and get rid of these two as well. So we're almost back up to where we were before we spent a bunch of uh, sparklies. Only at 5,000 for right now, but it's weird, it's like every chance I get to get a little bit farther with that, I get sent farther back again. <laughs> I'm working on it though. Either way, here's the tunnels Gary were ta was talking about. Oh no. There we go, we made it, we made it. Yeah, I've been trying to be as diligent as I can for this level, it's a bit of a tougher one. The difficulty for the game is definitely stump stepping up a bit, but I think that's fine. Boom, gotcha. I can't wait for more levels where we play as Sandy. I feel like that hasn't happened as, as, as much as I've wanted so far, but I'm sure it'll change over time. Oh boy. Let's keep it going. I didn't miss anything, right? Doesn't look like it. Gotcha. Oh boy. Now this, I don't trust as how much. Okay, get over to the blue ones. Don't worry about the yellow ones. Just assume that the yellow ones are also red. <laughs> and just move to the blues. There we go. And what's going on here? Can I get through this? Oh yeah, I can. Like a, a little breeze. confusing. And that's where we were before. Okay, cool. So can I, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Can I destroy these? No, no, whoa, 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 who watch it? Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Me neither. It shines. Okay, so now with all that out of the way, let's keep moving through these tunnels. I like it, it's like a secret spy mission. Okay, so we're just supposed to move along with it, I think. Yep. Uh, but that's where it gets tough because this guy's gonna be firing us the whole time. One more and then we should be able to double jump across. Yeah, okay, we were, awesome. Gotcha. Ow, but he still got me. Get out of here. There we go. I'll let that explode. Same thing with this one. They should all just fly over to me. Yep. I love opening presents. So let's definitely grab some of that. Oh my. Um, oh, that was tough. No! No, 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 no. Watch it. We have a lot of health, but there's a lot of health that we could lose here too. Fresh like a spring breeze. Okay. Oh no, oh I got a little confused about which way I was gonna go. I am so bad at this right now because I'm panicking because of the enemies. Okay, come on, we're fine. That's it. Get the underwear, I was trying to move over, but oh man, that was tough. That was really tough. Because just dodging the, the red panels, that's easy enough. But when you have to also try to predict where the enemies are gonna try to hit you, that's where it gets a little scary. Especially he's already trying to go for me. Great. Okay. Got him, oh my gosh, and I still get me. And this is where I start freaking out a little bit. Gotta be slow. Oh my gosh, and I'm trying to jump to the panels which are actually safe, and he's hitting me while I'm doing that. Grab that, like and then we're going sponge. back. Gotcha, now why don't you get hurt by the rev? Not really fair, but okay. We figured it out, that was tough. Hmm, oh here we go, speaking of bowling or not. Come on, why is it doing that? Okay, it actually hit him still. Oh, did we knock him out three times? Because he just like didn't really react, that was weird too. Anyways, let's keep going. Here's another one, no, not another one! I can't afford all this. Okay, well that unlocks that area. Boom, we'll smack this, three out of four, and another golden spatula. Okay, so we'll go that way in just a moment. But first, I'm very curious. Oh, this is all gonna lead to a sock. So we have a more difficult 
platforming section here. Watch it for these things. Come on, come on. They're quick, so we gotta be careful, not land. No, really? It knocks me all the way back? That's a shame. I don't like that. Ah, uh, I guess it might actually be easier just to fall off and restart. Wow. Oh, there we go. That took a lot of work. <laughs> Definitely a tough thing where, you know, if you make one mistake, you gotta do it all over. But there we go, we got it. And boom, let's move to the next area, the rolling ball area, oh boy. Sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Ooh. Okay, I see what it means by rolling ball. There's like these different, like, railings for it. Is that just for a bowling ball, or what? Either way, I do see Mr. Krabs over here. Curious to see what he's gonna say. Look, boy. There's gold under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. Oh my. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. Huh. My wallet's counting on you. And you interesting. So, uh, yeah, we'll try that in just a second, but first. Boom, all four of those have been hit. So we'll have to go back to that soon. And ah, there goes like the, the ball. Smell of bubbles in the morning. And oh, like I see. Victory. And this is where we have to sort of, it's like, I th what do they call it? I think it's called a Rube Goldberg machine. Basically a large machine like this that doesn't really accomplish much, but it's fun to look at. Okay, we have to go over here. Go, 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 go. Was that correct? Uh, whoa, look at it go. Scoop successful. Who doesn't love a successful scoop? And what will this one do then? Um, well, it's gonna roll all the way down, go down that way, around here, and then, I guess, do that. So we'll just get that prepped. Because I don't think it's gonna like undo itself in the meantime, right? I hope not. Boom. You've just met the sponginator. Yes, yes. No, it's going back! Why? Okay, it is limited time, it is limited time. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on, that was awkward. That really stinks that over time it just undoes itself. I know, let's try again. This time we'll get it though. Cause it's not like we did anything wrong, it's just, I mean, I guess I technically did. But like, it wasn't like I didn't time it right or just wasn't very good at it. And there is a purple uh, shiny up there that I sort of want to get. <clears throat> so, that's coming down. And once it's about there, I think that'll be fine. Gonna get that successful scoop again. Thank you, thank you. It's taking its time. Do I have to hit it again? There it goes. So, I'll just wait here, and once it gets a whole lot closer, like maybe around there. But this is a really cool idea, I like it a lot. Here it comes. And right about now, there we go. And that's definitely should be enough time. So while that's figuring out its stuff, there it goes. Whoa, it almost wasn't. I almost still did that too early. Wow, okay. Okay, so it's fine. What do we gotta get over here? I don't know, I don't know, no, 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 wait, 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 over this way. Wait, ah, ha, 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 darn. What? That was weird. Did you see that? <laughs> it, like, it got stuck there. I hope that's not gonna mess it up. Oh, please don't let it, wow. Wow, 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 okay. We're fine. Somehow I don't think he needs that I'm going to just hit that guy and then very quickly try to get up here. No, 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 no. Wait, oh my gosh. But it's lost momentum. Oh no, ah, uh, ha, 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 come on. Come on, it has to roll back down. That's it, keep it going. Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this will buy me some more time. Um, I love opening okay, presents. Okay, come on. This oh, is tough keeping up with that. So what is that There's gonna do? Like the smell of bubbles that in the didn't morning. do anything. Smells like okay, no, it raised victory. it. Okay, that's good. Now what? Now what? Um, no, no. Wait, wait. Oh, it was supposed to go in that hole. Oh, wait. No, it's supposed to go in that hole. Okay. Hey, look at this. Got a sock. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Yes, he does. We have enough for a uh, another golden spatula from him, though. That is really tough. 
And then what is this about? I don't know. Um, I guess we'll sort of figure that out. But for right now, I gotta try again. Okay, this time I'm trying to be a bit more at the ready. Because we want to stand on this and it immediately is about to go into that hole. No, 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 no. You just get it over that way. That's it, that's it, that's it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I like how it just sort of slides over a little bit. We did it though. Why did it make an ant eh noise? I think we did it. I think it's just taking time. And that's going to slow down the fan so that we can go over this way. And oh. Uh. What? Was I supposed to time it with all that? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I was supposed to know that. Okay, is this actually gonna work? So many times it goes straight into that one hole. Okay, now quickly, quickly, quickly. We know what we gotta do now. Um, is this, don't panic, don't panic. The, there it goes, oh my gosh. Wow, that was tough. That took me a lot of tries. Oh, now we're stuck. Now we're stuck. No, no, no! <laughs> it did say it was saving the game now. Um, oh gosh. Uh, what if I teleport to it? Oh, wait, I can't, okay. Whew, this might save me, who knows. I'd, it said it was saved. <laughs> oh no, what's gonna happen? Okay, okay, we're fine. I can already see it over there, thank goodness. Wow, that was ridiculous. Let me slam this guy, boom, there we go. Too pretty. Can't take okay, it. ready, boom, got it. 39th golden spatula. <laughs> I was so scared I would have had to do it all over again. Hi, Mr. Krabs. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you a promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra 10 seconds added to your break time. Woo! 20 second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Whoa! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Oh, thanks, Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs is such a bad employer. <laughs> Poor SpongeBob. Is this, you think you'd treat SpongeBob a little bit better seeing how it's a star employee? Maybe one day, I sure hope so, for SpongeBob's sake. Anyways, uh, return to the Mermelair main chamber, sure. So I guess it goes all full circle. That's great that we made our way through with all that, though. Very exciting that things are starting to work out a little bit. Definitely took a lot of work to get here, but here we are. So yeah, let's talk to the robot again, if we can. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. Ooh. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. Why do you want to be shut down now? Either way, there is our 40th golden spatula. I think there's still some we are missing, but we'll go back and look around for right now. Boom, that worked. Okay, now what? Nothing, apparently. I'm a little confused, but hey, this bridge has been let down now, so maybe we can figure that out. Also, um, yeah, the, okay, no, the last one's still there. It's just a bit of a mystery, so I guess going this way is the best way to find out. That is so odd though, um, that it just it seemingly did nothing. Okay, well we're just gonna walk down this super duper long bridge. Oh, wait, no, okay. Villain containment system area. Oh my, that sounds dangerous. But we'll try it out. Well, the security system has been shut down and we got a good checkup. <laughs> Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah. Well, Justin Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Oh, no. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes. Yes, I do. Ew. Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The Atomic oh, Flounder? Oh. The Dirty Bubble? Uh. No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy, Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? No, oh, no. Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes, but now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. 
He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Oh no. Everything the I fiend own turned pink. Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Aww. Sure, pretty stupid. Aww. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coop. <laughs> Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. <laughs> He's just I leaving. I avenge you, Mermaid Man. Okay, SpongeBob, let's do it. Oh, he's much smaller than I expected. Oh boy, what is he doing? He's just blasting sound bubbles all over the place. I don't think I want to step on this right now. Whoa, okay. Okay, now it's going down though. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, ready? Ow, that hurt. Wait, I can't reach him. Oh, I'm supposed to bowl at him, aren't I? Boom, got him. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I wasn't ready for this. I was not ready for any of this. Oh no, oh no, jump. I need to get more. Uh, <laughs> I need to get more underwear before this goes badly. Quickly, quickly. Got it. Feel like a new spot. And then roll that over there. Okay, so it'll it'll break. Whoa! There we go. It shines. Here we go, here we go, ready? Got it. And also do the same thing to this guy. That didn't really work. Okay, we only have to hit him one more time now. Nice. He's gonna hit me with the bubbles again, but or block against him. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, come on. Not good. He's really trying to get me right now. But I think we could get him back. Just a little bit more time. Because he really just tries to go straight for me. Where's it gonna be? Right there. Whoop. Boom, got him. Super combo. Oh, and he's frozen. Oh, no, not again. This is not fair. I got a frozen wedgie for this. Is this the end of Prawn? Oh no. Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. Frankie? Name, SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Hooray! Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. And he's gone. Let goodness and kindness. Are you still here? All righty, so there we go, our golden spatula, trophy earned to shrimp catcher. How cool is that? And what is over this way then? Not really much. Huh. Okay, then I guess I just sort of give you this area to explore a little bit, but I guess that's gonna be it. For the most part, we're all done with this area. Yeah, we got the, the Mermelair. Actually, we 100% got everything. We got all of the spatulas, all the socks, and of course, all of the things um, that we needed for the one golden spatula. That's really good, so we're gonna go back to Bikini Bottom now, and at the least, um, actually, let's go to this one. I wanna talk to Patrick and exchange some of our socks for another golden spatula. So yeah, things have been excellent in terms of progress. We'll keep at it, of course, in the next episode and go to a new area, but I'm super happy about this one. Turned out well. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, Mermelair was a really cool level. That one ball rolling puzzle was a bit tough. I feel like a little like wonky, I guess, made it difficult to keep up with things. But hey, Patrick's right over this way. We don't have enough of the sparklies to, yeah, give to Mr. Krabs. Not even half of them, wow. Anyways. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back okay. scratch. So he says the same thing he says every time. Boom, that was gonna be golden spatula number 42. Wow. <laughs> That is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.